I've never knit a lace edging before. The one that is knit separately to be attached later on to a bohemian dress or a fancy blouse or a handkerchief. I've never knit that one. So when I've got a request to make a tutorial about a sideways knit lace trim, I was quite excited to dive into an amazing world of vintage patterns. The pattern that I'm going to share with you today comes from an old book called The Lace Knitting of Mary Schiffman. The pattern was developed by Mary herself in 1953 as a gift for her mother and she called it Mother's Handkerchief Edging. The pattern is quite simple. It is fully reversible so it looks the same on both sides and it works out pretty fast. I timed myself and it takes about three minutes to finish a full pattern repeat. Let's see how it works. The pattern repeat is only eight rows and it starts with six stitches. So cast on six stitches and knit all stitches for one row. I've already done that to save time. So that's the setup. Now we can move on to the pattern itself. In row one, knit one stitch, just like this. Make a yarn over, then bring the yarn to the front to purl two stitches together, purl two stitches together, then knit two stitches together, and knit the last stitch. Now we have five stitches on the needle. Turn your work. In the second row, Make a yarn over first. That's a bit unusual, but that's easy. You simply um, uh, arrange the needle in such a way that the yarn is basically sitting on the needle. That's it, just like this. I simply pick up the yarn. And then knit two stitches separately. Knit one, knit another one. Make a yarn over, bring the yarn to the front, purl two stitches together and knit the last stitch. Now we have six stitches on the needle again. Turn your work. Row three. Knit the first stitch, make a yarn over, then bring the yarn to the front and purl two stitches together. Knit one stitch, make a yarn over, and knit two stitches separately. Knit one and knit the last one. Now we have seven stitches on the needle and that was row three. In row four we start with the yarn over again. So we simply insert the needle under the yarn and then um, knit four stitches separately. So knit one, two, three and four. Then make a yarn over again, bring the yarn to the front and purl two stitches together. Knit the last stitch. We have eight stitches on the needle and that was row four. So we are halfway through the pattern. Row five starts with knit one. Knit one, make a yarn over, bring the yarn to the front, purl two stitches together then knit three stitches separately one two three make a yarn over and knit the last two stitches separately one and two now we have the maximum of the stitches that we get in this pattern that's nine stitches so we kind of increased as you noticed and now we're gonna be decreasing a bit and the decreasing starts with row six Make a yarn over again, then knit two stitches together. That's the decreasing part. Knit two stitches together. If you feel that it is a bit uncomfortable to insert the right needle into two stitches, then move the stitches a bit closer to the tip of the left needle and this way it will be much easier. Then knit two stitches together again. Then knit two stitches separately. Make a yarn over, bring the yarn to the front, purl two stitches together and knit the last stitch. As a result, we have eight stitches and we've just finished row six. Turn your work. 
row 7. Knit one stitch, make a yarn over, bring the yarn to the front, purl two stitches together, then knit two stitches separately, knit one, knit another one, knit two stitches together, just like this, and knit the last stitch. Seven stitches on the needle, so we keep decreasing, turn your work, and now comes the last row of the pattern repeat. Row eight, make a yarn over, then knit two stitches together, then knit two stitches together again, just like this, make a yarn over, bring the yarn to the front, purl two stitches together and knit one stitch. We are back to the six stitches we started with and we just completed a pattern repeat. And that's how the pattern looks. So see it looks the same on both sides, it's quite nice. And you keep working these eight rows on and on and on until the lace gets as long as you want. And after you're done, uh, bind off the stitches and block the lace. Like any lace, it looks best when it is blocked. And then it will look about like this. I have a swatch here that I made in white because lace looks best in white, in my opinion. Uh, so this color is nice for a tutorial because you can see the stitches nicely. But um, my first choice for this lace would be white color. And that's how it looks. See, it has quite a bit of holes and it also has like a scalloped edge depending on how you block it though you might want to block it more um, and make it more kind of spiky here so it's totally up to you and you decide it once you uh, you finish knitting and then you will have a nice edging I didn't do any adjustments to the pattern because I wanted to keep it a vintage masterpiece it is. But if I did decide to improve it, the only thing I would do is to add the uh, slip stitch salvage to the edge that gets attached to a dress or a handkerchief or whatever other project you have in mind. Otherwise, it's a lovely vintage lace that is quite easy to knit. If you need step-by-step -step instructions, follow the link in the description. Thank you for watching this video and have a wonderful week. I'll see you next Thursday.